In this video, we're going to look at a quick and easy method for sketching a basic tangent graph. So we're going to graph y equals tangent of 2x. To help as we go, we have the general form of a tangent equation and our outline of steps. So step one, we'll find our essentials starting with a, that's just the leading coefficient in front of the tangent. In our equation, it's an understood one since we don't see anything there. And that's going to help set the y coordinates for our points our upper and lower curve setting points in step two. So we'll come back to that. B is the coefficient in front of X. In our equation, it's a two. And we're going to use that to calculate the period or the length of a cycle horizontally. And for tangent, remember that formula is just pi divided by B. So our period for this equation is pi over two. So once I get the period, I like to divide it by four and this will set the horizontal scale. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Pi over two divided by four is the same thing as multiplying by one fourth. So for the horizontal scale, we'll count by one pi over eight. And basically we just divided that period into four equal parts so that each of our key points in step two will line up nicely with these horizontal tick marks. So easy enough, let's go ahead and label our axes. We'll go on our horizontal axis, axis just four marks, and we'll count by pi over eight. So we have one pi over eight, 2 pi over 8, which reduces to pi over 4, 3 pi over 8, and 4 pi over 8 reduces to pi over 2. And that fourth tick mark as you move to the right should always match your period when you set up like this. All right, then for our vertical axis, we're just going to go up one and down one. We're really looking at the value of a here, and since it's 1, this will be sufficient. All right, so now we're ready for step two. We're going to plot our key points pattern. So for a basic tangent graph, this starts at the origin with a zero or an x-intercept. Then you'll have your upper curve shaping point, then an asymptote, then your lower curve shaping point. So let's go ahead and do this. Start at the origin with that zero. Okay, your first point happens at pi over eight and it's your upper curve shaping point. Get the y-coordinate for it simply by looking at that value for a. So the y-coordinate here is one. All right, then you have your vertical asymptote. It happens at pi over four. With this method, it always happens at the second tick mark to the right of the origin. And then you have your lower curve shaping point. So that's at three pi over eight, and then you get your y coordinate by taking the opposite value of a, so negative one. All right, and then your pattern would repeat starting at pi over two. We're ready for step three, easy enough. Just sketch in your tangent curve here. So it's kind of a broken tangent cycle, but this is one full cycle of tangent 2x. If you'd like, you can continue the pattern, okay, and just extend your graph in either direction. Asymptote goes here, easy enough. Okay, so do that for as many cycles as you'd like, and we'll take one minute before we finish this graph to talk about the asymptotes equation and how you can find asymptotes really easily. There's a great trick for this. So all you have to do is take your horizontal transformations or your inputs of your tangent function from your equation, so 2x, and set that equal to the original asymptotes of just plain old y equals tangent x. So those asymptotes are at pi over two plus pi k, where k is an integer. Just substitute in different integers to get different asymptotes. Once you have this, all you have to do is solve for x. So we're essentially gonna divide everything by two all right, so divide each term by two or multiply by one half if that helps you. Okay, and you can see that your asymptotes equation for this graph is x equals pi over four plus pi over two k. So if you substitute in zero for k, you'll see you find this first asymptote that we've graphed here, the one in purple, that's when k equals zero. You get x equals pi over four. Okay, play around with this. Substitute in different integers for k. You can substitute in one. You'll get the next asymptote to the right, the one that's just off of our grid. If you substitute in k equals negative one, you'll get this asymptote here at x equals negative pi over four. And so it's just a really cool way to represent your asymptotes and easily find them. All right, so that's all there is to it. 